Well, this is an interesting, but not so shocking story. This time we got Pope Francis, the Illuminati Jesuitical uh, agent that he is, hold, uh, incorporating pagan customs, indigenous uh, Native American customs, into the already pagan occult Roman Catholic mass. So not really surprising one, but he's just adding more occultism onto the already occultic mass. But it says here, uh, and this is the fun part too, just the type of Illuminati Jesuitical tricks the uh, Pope plays. Uh, it says here on the Edmonton Journal, first block of tickets for Pope Francis open air mass at Commonwealth Stadium sold out. The Canadian visit comes after Francis delivered an apology to the indigenous delegates, uh, delegates at the Vatican for the Roman Catholic Church's role in Canada's residential schools and the intergenerational trauma they caused. Well, that was bad, but uh, what about apologizing to all the Bible believers that his cult, you know, I mean the millions of Bible believers throughout the, the, uh, the past 2,000 years that his Roman Catholic Church burned at the stake for not bowing down to the heresies of Rome and for simply owning a copy of the scriptures or translating a copy of the scriptures. Where, where's our apology? But we're not going to get that because why? Well, you see, the mystery of Babylon has always had a thirst for the blood of God's saints. Revelation chapter 17 talks about that, uh, how mystery of Babylon has, you know, they drunk him with the blood of the saints. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1 to 5. So we're not going to be getting any kind of apology from Pope Francis, but he's definitely going to apologize to the indigenous people that his church uh, went after. But it says here in this article, and you got to love this too, this thing of selling tickets, you know, uh, where, where in scripture do we sell money? Do we pay? Do we charge people money to attend our services? If you're a Christian, where is that in scripture? We don't find that in there, but it says here in the uh, Edmonton journal, the first block of tickets for Pope Francis open air mass at the Commonwealth stadium sold out in 30 minutes, Wednesday morning. You know, the, the trillionaire Illuminati occult Vatican is making more money off these selling these tickets. Again, where is this in scripture? Where, where, where do we sell? Where do we charge people money to attend our our uh, services. More proof that Roman Catholicism is not Christian. A spokesperson for the papal visit said 16,000 tickets were sold in the first block for the Mass that is expected to accommodate up to 65,000 attendees. The Mass is part of the Pope's Canadian tour later this month, which will begin with his arrival in Edmonton on July 24th. On July 25th, he is scheduled to visit the site of the former Imran Skin Residential School in Macwick probably saying that right about 80 kilometers south of edmonton there he will join residential school survivors from across the country for a formal event before appearing at sacred heart church uh, of the first peoples in edmonton's mcclure mccloy county uh later that day again they would get they're getting an apology but where's again where's our apology the bible the bible the saints of god where's our apology uh and by the way, apologizing, you know, it, I mean, it really means nothing in this day and age because, you know, with someone with that kind of power as the Pope has, he can just apologize. But if, if he wanted to, he could easily just burn us at the stake all over again if he, you know, in the countries he controls. But it says here in the journal, uh, uh, for the feast of St. Anne on July 26, Francis will celebrate with an open air mass at Commonwealth Stadium and will incorporate indigenous traditions. So what's going on here is he's basically incorporating uh, pagan Native American traditions into his already occultic Roman Catholic Mass right here in Canada. I'm covering this. Why? Because, well, I'm obviously in Canada. And this country is totally controlled by Rome. I mean, yeah, sure, atheism is rising in this country, but really, that's no threat to Rome one bit, considering the fact that atheism is in league with the, with the Vatican. A whole issue on that. But the Illuminati, Jesuitical Pope Francis, uh, just showing the true occultic mystery, mystery religion roots of his Illuminati Roman Catholic Church, just more proof. Revelation 17, 18 talks about mystery Babylon rules over the kings of the earth. Well, there you go. So anyway, don't be deceived by all the, all the, uh, the all this propaganda that somehow Catholics worship the same God as Bible believers. No, they don't. Roman Catholics worship Baal. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.